So let me walk you through each of the six models in the series. The 121 is a mallet which is basically your roller, okay? This is the biggest and the softest, the most cushioned and the most yarn wrapped mallet of all of them. Underneath, we start with that same xylophone core we had before, and then a double banding of latex rubber, allowing the player a maximum of cushion and protection of the xylophone core. If we can take the liberty of thinking about the color of sound and using them in, in, with a metaphor of a numerical scale. So let's just say that a zero is the darkest of sounds and a hundred is the brightest of sounds. This 121 really goes from zero up to about a 40 and back down in a very smooth line. I'll play this mallet for you just a little tiny bit and you can hear that it's really a fabulous mallet for just rolling low in the instrument as seamless as possible. A gorgeous, lush, deep sound, basically a rolling mallet. That's the 121. The M122 is the second in the hardness of the series of mallets. It's also basically a rolling mallet, but it has more versatility to it than just being a roller like the 121 is. Again, let me show you how the mallet is built, and I'm going to walk you through its color spectrum again. Same start, xylophone core, same banding technique with the latex band, except this time you have two much thinner and more vulnerable layers of, of rubber, allowing the player to work his way through in the impact. You can work your way through that protective rubber easier and brighten the sound up towards the top of the instrument more than the 121. Let me, let me play this mallet for you a little bit. basically doing all the things that the 121 will do down in that register, but because it has less yarn on it and because the wrap is slightly different, it allows the player to cover way more instrument. I can get the entire way up to G sharp in my soprano mallet here. Returning to our color scale that we've made up for ourselves, this M122 would begin somewhere on the color chart at about a 10 and work its way up to about a 50. Very common in my own teaching and in almost every, every player's study of the instrument, we play transcriptions. And very commonly we play the transcriptions of J.S. Bach's beautiful six suites originally written for the cello. The M122 is a mallet absolutely perfect for these sorts of pieces.
With 123 in our color spectrum, we're starting at about a 15 or a 20 and working ourselves up in the, in, the, in the widest range so far of the malice, clear up to about a 70 to a 75. So 123 has a lot of range and can cover a lot of different timbres. Unwrapped, a 123 looks like this. Same bass, xylophone core, and a singular layer of rather thin latex, allowing the player to rather quickly beat through there and get through to the bright color at the core. When I pull out my 123s, the piece that comes to mind is Martin Bresnik's fantastic double marimba concerto entitled Grace. In the first movement of this piece, you have a duality of character. Great big huge open fourths and fifths dominate the room and are a very forceful personality. And they're always answered by these delicate beautiful sixths I'd like to play you just a little tiny bit out of the first movement of Martin Bresnik's Grace. So as you see in the loud interjections, that the mallet has a ton of big sound. And that's me working myself through to the core as I showed you, that xylophone core underneath the sheathing of, of rubber. Then, to play the soft figurations, I sit simply up on the cushion of the yarn. Different from multi most multitonal mallets though, the wrap is not simply laid on the core. There is enough tightness to the wrap that helps to focus the sound, project the pitch. With these mallets being able to cover so much of the instrument, we're no longer finding ourselves in a conversation about a brand new mallet saying, this mallet covers this zone of the marimba and this mallet covers that zone of the marimba, but rather we're dealing with mallets which cover an enormous amount of the instrument in each one of them. But what they have the, at your disposition as a player is to feed your artistic juices in that they give you a ton of different colors and sounds to be able to work with. This M124 will start at about a 20 and work its way up to about an 85, an extraordinary range. Probably the mallet of the set of six that I will pull out of my own mallet bag the most often. The M124 has an enormous range of color and an enormous range of expression. M124 is on the inside without their wrap. An even thinner layer of latex, protecting the core even less, much quicker for the player to be able to crush through, much quicker for the player to be able to access the bright colors of the high register. To demonstrate the M124, I thought I'd play one of the most iconic places in the marimba repertoire, about two-thirds of the way through Minoru Miki's great piece, Time for Marimba. Miki sets up a little ostinato for us. It sounds like this. The idea of the player is to, to almost metaphorically have, like the, the, the pedal would go down on a piano. It's to take the sound, wash it out, and allow the listener to hear the group of five, but just to have a sound like the pedal down on, on a piano. Warm, ringing, and rich, to where it lays down like a landscape. Now on top of that, Miki sings a beautiful melody, but he gives a very specific instruction. He says for us to play on door, outside of the ostinato, and to do that, we need a different color of sound. Watch what this mallet, mallet allows me to do. Artistic flexibility from a mallet, it's inspiring.
125s are the mallet that is going to start at about a 30 on our imaginary scale and work its way up to about a 90. This mallet gets very bright at the top, but it still has so much flexibility on the bottom end of the scale that it can play completely through down to the low C and it can even still roll. M125s and 126s share the exact same compound on the inside. They are the same xylophone core that we've been speaking about for all the other mallets, but now we no longer go to rubber banding, but rather silicone. Silicone is much easier in a very thin application to control its density, so you don't get hot spots in the mallet that rubber would actually produce at this thinness. And this is a very thin layer of protection of that xylophone core, allowing the player to beat through to brightness very quickly. So with the 125, we keep moving up into a mallet with more and more expressivity and more and more colors in it. Alejandro Vignao is a great Argentinian composer who has lived for a long time in London and written a ton of great marimba music. You all know his wonderful con variations, his concerto for marimba and orchestra, tumblers and all these masterpieces that he's been so kind to offer to our art form. He wrote one of the two pieces that I've been, had the privilege of giving the world premiere of for him is a piece called The Studios de Frontera. And this piece has a lot of, a lot of flexibility inside it that, that asks for a lot from the mallet. And I'll play just a couple of little places from you. It has to murmur. At the same time it does that, it has to bite. Another amazing trick that the mallet is able to do is to give you a really two-planed level of voicing. And later in the piece, Alejandro has a section that does this. And those notes, much like that figuration in Time for Marimba, just wash out. And on top of that, he puts a melody. Well, for me to be able to do that, I need to be able to have different colors. to do is to take the mallet in those outside little melodic fragments, pinch down on it, accelerate the velocity of the stroke, we're able then to crush through the banding of rubber, bring out that xylophone core, and what do we get? Two completely different colors of sound happening at the same time. My artistic imagination fed by a mallet. One twenty-six. This is the bright red sound in your bag. This mallet will begin at about a forty, and work its way the whole way up to a hundred. When this thing really finally kicks into its core, especially at the top of the instrument, it's got more aliveness to the sound than any other stick I've ever had the privilege of playing in this type of repertoire. The most extreme of this multi-tonality in the in the set are the M one twenty-sixes. These are the mallets that I pull out of my mallet bag to play Japanese marimba music. In the middle of that piece, Mirage from Yasui Tsuyoshi, there is a, a section which asks three completely different characters of the marimba player. Character one is sort of a big march, very emphatic move from a primary actor in a kabuki or a no theater. He mixes this with a second character, much like the voice of a female singer. And on top of that, a third layer of expression then comes in, which are just like a painter taking a big handful of bright red paint and throwing it up against the canvas. And those guys sound like this. What, what mallet's able to do all three of those things? Well, with the M126,
All of them are possible in one stick. I want a mallet as a player that allows me to say what my musical imagination hears. I don't want the mallet to actually box me in and decide the color of sound for me. These brand new mallets allow me to hear a sound in my ear and be able to find whatever that color is that I'm imagining in the same mallet. 